In our church, we require written permission forms that include health information and liability waivers for all church-related activities held out away from the church. Children, youth, and vulnerable adults may also be asked to sign an age-appropriate covenant for participation. Any activity that includes risks uh, requires the presence of an experienced adult or a certified guide or instructor. For example, swimming, rock climbing, challenge course, any other risk-related activities. If the activity is contracted to an outside party, they must have liability insurance and be able to provide that certificate to us. And it must be for a minimum of $1 million liability coverage. Medical permission forms also will be required for children and youth participating in church events. They are kept by the adult coordinator of the event and they do also include a waiver of liability. In case of an accident that requires medical attention, the PIC will use all means possible to contact the parent or the guardian or the emergency contact while ensuring that the youth, youth receives proper care. There are first aid kits at the church available for all events. Anyone who transports children or youth on behalf of Hillview must be at least 21 years of age and they have had to have had their valid driver's license for a period of no less than two years. They need to carry liability insurance at all times that meet the st state regulations, and their vehicle has to be registered and roadworthy. All occupants, including the driver, must wear seatbelts at all times. They, the driver does need to obey all traffic regulations and not drive under the influence of drugs, or alcohol, and they must be fully rested before taking the will. For all overnight events, there needs to be at least two adults present. At co-ed events, there has to be at least one parent or one adult of each gender present. At single gender events, at least one adult must be of the same gender as the children or the youth. If there are only two adults, it's preferred that they are not related. In situations where two adults are not available in each room where the children or the youth are staying overnight, no adult of a different gender shall stay alone in that room. In these situations where adults are not staying in the rooms, special measures do need to be taken to ensure the, ch the children's or the youth's safe safety and supervision. Can't even talk today, sorry about that. In all situations, parents do need to be notified of the sleeping arrangements. Adults shall respect the privacy of youth when changing clothing or showering to the extent that safety allows. Adults will not be nude in front of the youth. Any overnight event shall have at the least first aid staff certified in the first aid and CPR who can administer minor first aid dispense medicine as needed, and who are capable of determining whether additional medical attention is needed. This person is also responsible for report reporting all incidents to the clergy. For all overnight events and pri that primarily target minors, all medicine, including supplements, will be giving, given to the first aid staff or another responsible adult at the beginning of the event and it will be distributed as appropriate. A log does need to be kept with all dispensed medications and treatments administered. So that is a lot of information that we have uh, thrown at you. We are now going to go and learn what are some of the signs of child abuse, what we can be looking for, some things that we need to be aware of, um, and just because you may see one or two of these signs doesn't necessarily mean there is abuse. But again, we need to be aware of what those signs are. And then we're going to be talking about what, how can we talk with a child? How do we inter, what's the best way to interact with children um, on a day-to-day -day basis? What are we supposed to say to a child if we suspect there's abuse? And so we're going to look at those things. And then we're going to finish up our training. And again, we thank you for the time that you're taking to listen to this. Thanks.